Hi, name's Daniel. What do I do in my free time? Well, I make textures like these. What do you think? Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the dissolve effect on the Poyomi Pro. As you can see on the screen, you can switch from one texture to the other with a nice little animation in between. Before making the animation, this is how you want your textures to be set up. You want to enable the dissolve feature by extending the special effects in the Poyomi, and then the dissolve texture is going to be that the texture you want to change into. The dissolve detail noise is going to be the normal body textures, or you can just leave it in the main. That's going to be your main body textures. So without further ado, let's get started. First, what you want to do is find the FBX of your avatar, then in your parameters, you're going to create a new thing with a bool. Uh, you can rename it textures, I recommend, but you can you can name it, rename it whatever you want. You're going to go back on your layers and then use the same name over there. Make sure that the weight is set to 1. Now go back on your assets, create a new animation by right clicking, create and then animation. And you're basically going to rename it whatever you want. I'm going for the simple texture. Now you're just gonna going to drag it into the layers. After that, click on your click on your avatar again. Now click on the body. And find the material that you want to do the effect on. Open the dissolve. Now you're going to open an animations tab. You can drag it down here so it's easier to work with. You're going to click on this little window here and then find basically the animation that you just named it. In my case, it's simple animation. You're going to click on the red button and then drag the dissolve from one and then back. Click on the red record button again and then the little window next to it so your avatar go, goes back into T-Pose. Go back on your assets Duplicate the animation that you just created and then rename it something else. In my case, it's going to be complex textures. Once you got that done, you're going to back going to you're going to go back on your animation. And now at this little window here, just select instead of zero, put one. Go back on your layers and then drag the animation that you just created. Make a transition between them by right clicking them and then clicking on the opposite of it. Click on these little lines in between, make sure that it has exit time is off. And then duration, I usually put it either 5 or 4. This is uh, how long, how many seconds it takes from animation and from texture to switch from one to the other. So I would recommend around 4 or 5. And if you want it to be really fast, you go the lower number. Click on the little window here under it. Going from orange to gray, you want to make sure that, that it's set to textures, true. And then line going back, you want to make sure that it's textures and then false. After that is done, go back on your avatar and find the parameters menu. You're going to create a new parameter and name it textures or whatever, whichever name you want. And make sure that it's set to bool. Now go back on your expression menu. And now here you can either create a new menu that is separately for uh, made for the textures or you can go to, let's say, your body and then click on that menu there. If you're not sure how to create a sub menu, I made a video on how to do toggles and I basically explain it there. But if you want a separate video for it, I can do that. After you find the menu where you want to set this, you name it textures. Type, you want to make sure that it's a toggle. And then parameter, you just want to find your parameter. Before uploading your avatar, this is the most important step. Make sure that you find your uh, textures, make sure to open the dissolve menu and right click next to the things that you see basically dissolve alpha and textures and whatnot. Uh, this is going to lock the animations in place so that it doesn't lock, otherwise it won't work. And now just upload your avatar and as you can see in game, when I click on the thing, it changes my textures from the main one to the other one. They're gonna stay like this until you click on the animation again and they're slowly going to go back on your main material. I really hope this video helped, and I hope that you can make some cool textures now. Let me know if you want more tutorials like this, and uh, yeah, I'll see you around.